Hello, my name is Jamie Clark. I live in Lexington, South Carolina with my wife, Kathy, and our two kids. I represent Gospel of God Ministries in the Columbia, Lexington, South Carolina regions. Gospel of God Ministries is a ministry based out of Raleigh, North Carolina, and founded by Brother Tommy Waltz. We began our ministry in this region approximately three years ago, by God's grace, uh, in August of 2017, during the total solar eclipse. At that time, Columbia, South Carolina, was one of the best viewing spots in the nation to view the solar eclipse. As a result, tens of thousands of people came into Columbia, South Carolina, for the purpose of viewing the eclipse. During that day, uh, another brother from Raleigh, Stephen Morris, drove down to Columbia, South Carolina, and he and I went out to Main Street, uh, Columbia, to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ through open-air preaching, gospel tract distribution, and one-on-one -on -one conversations, as the Lord allowed. So that was the birth of our ministry in this region, and since then, the ministry has focused primarily on going to downtown Main Street, Columbia, on Thursday nights, what we call Thursday night on Main, as well as the home football games uh, for the USC Gamecocks um, as a representative of Sports Fan Outreach International. So it is our prayer that through our meager efforts, the Lord would be pleased to use broken vessels as his word goes forth to proclaim, to proclaim Jesus Christ as our only hope, that he would be pleased to turn the hearts of men and women who hear the gospel to himself through faith in the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ. We go out, we make known the holiness of God and the, the sinful, fallen nature of man. We, we make known to people that Christ is our only hope, that Jesus Christ, fully man, fully God, born into this world without sin, lived a life that was without sin, and he laid that perfect life down as a sin offering on our behalf dying the death that we deserve, taking the wrath of God in our place, and that on the third day he was raised from the grave in victory, and that through faith in him we can have forgiveness of sins and eternal life. We can be reconciled to God, justified, declared to be righteous. We live in a time of immense turmoil, strife, chaos, division, fear, uncertainty, everything negative that we can think of near about we see being played out in our culture even now we're in the process of going through uh, a pandemic uh, there is much uncertainty due to that we see rioting in the streets uh, we see ethnic strife we just see day after day after day the result of the sinful fallen nature of man when man is turned away from god and we know that in the midst of all this darkness the light of the gospel brings hope. So it is our desire that the Lord in his infinite mercy would be pleased to save men and women as Christ is proclaimed. So currently, during the midst of the pandemic, the ministry is primarily focused on uh, what we call stoplight evangelism. We go out and we proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ at busy intersections as well as holding up signs, proclaiming Christ to those who are sitting in their cars waiting for the stoplights to change. And during this time, you know, people get to hear the gospel. Uh, they get to hear snippets of, of Christ and who he is and what he's done. And we pray that the Lord would take these seeds and plant them in fertile soil and that he would reap a harvest as a result of his word going forth. We don't know what the future holds for this ministry going forth right now in this area uh, there's not a lot of things going on as far as crowds uh, crowded events uh, sporting events and things of that nature uh, we're having an uptick uh, in the number of uh, COVID cases being diagnosed so we're taking it day by day as we go forward and we'll just analyze things on a, a daily and weekly basis and as we're able, we will continue to carry the gospel of Jesus Christ into our culture that others may know of the hope found in the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ.